Okay, this will be part two on how to place a Facebook ad. Once you have your ad, your ad running, you can go over to your news feed page on Facebook and click on your ads and pages link. This will bring you over to your all campaigns page and you can look at each one of the campaigns that you have running or uh, have run in the past and see what some of the details are on those. So today I thought I'd cover the uh, nurses campaign which was the one that I ran in the prior week uh, leading up to nurses day. So let's take a look at that. Okay so under the nurses day campaign you can see I created three separate ads. One for my local city Lakeville Minnesota, one for all of the United States, which I just called the Nurses Day greeting cards, and then one that was aimed just at the state of Minnesota. My bid for the local one was only $1.05, a little higher for the, the U.S. wide one, $1.75, and $0.60 cents for the Minnesota one. And I was paying for the cost per click program versus the cost per impression. Now over the course of the, uh, it ran from the 29th of April and to the 4th of May <clears throat> and I had a three dollar budget for this campaign so the idea was that I, I could get clicks on any one of these three ads and those would count against my daily budget and so you can see on the local ad over that whole course of time even though I set the bid up as high as they were recommending I only got 1,100 impressions and I got zero clicks over that whole period. But at the same time, it didn't cost me anything. You know, so one of the uh, advantages of that would be that you at least get some exposure to some of the people in your local area. They say, hey, I saw your ad on Facebook. They may not have clicked on it, but at least you start to get some basically some free uh, exposure of your brand. <coughs> now. Obviously, the U.S. wide one, I got almost 80,000 impressions, and over that course of period of time, I had 11 clicks. Uh, I bid a dollar 75, but you can see my cost per click well, ended up only a dollar 20 for a cost of 13 dollars and 24 cents. Now, I did sell a number of nurses uh, day greeting cards over that period of time. Uh, it's I cannot actually tell you today that any of those came from these clicks. So I need to institute some kind of a tracking system where I know where the clicks are coming from when I uh, try to, so I can try to tie a sale to maybe a click that might have occurred on a particular day. But as far as I can tell, I'm more likely have just made my normal sales uh, just through the normal search engines on uh, the internet. And then the last one was the statewide one. I didn't bid very high for that. I only got 444 impressions and again, no clicks. Now they show you a chart of kind of what your what your activity was. I started it on a Friday. This is kind of the how many clicks per day. Basically three per day, two per day, then down to zero. So you'll get kind of a, a performance curve like this uh, for your different campaigns. So let's take a look at just one of these campaigns just so you can see what I did there. So here's the Lakeville greeting card campaign. And what comes up here is a uh, shows what I had aimed for demographics. It shows me how many impressions I got per day for this particular ad, how many clicks, and as I mentioned I didn't get any clicks. But I, I basically used the same style ad that I used in the other two. I just customized the title for my local city so people would say, oh, okay, Lakeville greeting cards. And they might click on it and I did, you know, talk about uh, cards from a Lakeville artist. So you can kind of customize it for the locality and if people do read it from your local area that are locals, you know, used to supporting local uh, vendors, then you might get some clicks. But in my case here, it, it didn't result in any, any uh, clicks, so um, at least this first campaign was not very successful. Let's look at the US one. Okay so here I basically had the same ad I just used a little different title on it Nurses Day greeting cards. Hurry it's May 6th sent the next day the same kind of thing I talked about in my Father's Day ad. You can see uh, when I started it 
I started to get about 14, 15,000 impressions per day. Then on the last day, I was kind of scaling it back a little bit because I wasn't really getting the clicks, two to three clicks per day. Here was my average cost per click, dollar to a dollar fifty, and how much I spent each day. So it was, it was actually running right up to my budget for the day. So I think they have obviously some software that makes sure that they try to do enough impressions and get enough clicks to make sure your budget gets spent because they get that money. But again, I can't relate any real sales to placing this ad. So let's take a look at my one that was more successful. I called it, it's another campaign on its own, separate. It's called Soaring Gifts. I had a $6 per day budget, and I had basically one ad running. And you can see, I got 55,000 impressions. I got a lot more clicks, so I got 62 clicks on here, and I did get a number of sales of shirts out of this campaign. So I'm pretty pleased that this one worked. Let's click on this and just look at some of the daily information about it. So again, I started about the same day. I got about 12,000 impressions per day, 20 or so clicks per day, and I got it my average cost, which I was actually bidding $1.99 per as my cost per click budget, I was ending up only paying 33 to 35 cents in here. It was my average cost per click. So this was quite successful. I was getting a lot of clicks for my money. And again, it ran up to my daily budget of $6 over those period of time. So I think the why, reason this was such more successful is this, this uh, area uh, I was targeting men, I was targeting you know, aviation, and, and it was unique. I don't think anybody else is advertising soaring gifts on Facebook. But I can't really say that I've made, a, you know, I probably have made probably, I think, two sales because of this ad. Again, I don't know for, for sure because I do make maybe one sale a week normally through that gift shop on Zazzle. And, but I, I pretty much saw immediately some those two sales. So. I think there's some potential here. Again, I, you know, I spent $22, so I, I don't even think I broke even uh, just over the short period I ran this. But at least it was worth the, worth the exercise anyway. And maybe there could be some ways that I can fine tune things so that uh, I get a even better results over time. So anyway, I hope uh, you found that interesting, and uh, let me know if. You run one, and if you have success, have a good day.